What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabar Toy, where safety is number one priority. And today I'm gonna make a completion of 100 science experiments you can try at home. And I'm gonna try to keep it under 15 minutes. Let's check it out. Boom! A Hadouken! Pretty crazy, huh? That's it. That's how we open a beer, just uh, with CD. So we're gonna put peroxide, then we're gonna put some soap, and then mix it up. So then I'm gonna put some food coloring, a spoon of yeast, and drop it. Let's go. Shake it up! Ah, <laughs> oh, you missed it. Uh -huh. Bottle milk. Food coloring, little bit of soap, drop a little bit over there. Check out what happens. You can see if I hold it down into the wood, it'll actually start burning the wood. Right now we're burning the wood, and the carbonized trail that it's leaving is conductive. And you can see the electricity is actually conducting through the burnt wood. Drop in alcohol. We're gonna put some in there, then we're gonna mix it up. Put it upside out in the icy cold water and let's see what happens. All time. Well, on the other side, coin. Then we're gonna grab a LED light and, light and then we're gonna attach it together. You can, as you can see, it producing electricity. And then we're gonna put them inside of the water. Stick my finger and not let air out or in. And you see they start diving. If I let it go, happy, sad, happy, sad, normal. Start twisting it, but then untwist it over here. Check it out. Baking soda, white vinegar, couple candles. I put vinegar inside the container and then put bacon soda in there. Check it out. It's gonna put out candle. And this one now. And the other knife is under and over. And this way you can place a glass on top of the knives and it will hold. We're gonna fill up a little bit of water, like this much, couple inches, and boil it, put it in the microwave for about a minute, and then put the balloon on top of the bottle. To speed up this reaction, grab a bottle and put it in the cold water. Alright, soap it up nicely like this. You see, it didn't pop this time. You see, and it's not popped. This is like a nail bed. And now we're gonna put this balloon on top of all this again. And check it out. I can apply a lot of pressure. Look at it. And it doesn't pop. Alright, you see? Just one right here left. And I'm just gonna put it on top of it like that. You see? It pop right away. I got here a lot of baking soda. I'm gonna pour some vinegar in there. Check it out. Two similar bits, you're gonna intervene them like that. Couple pitches there, couple pitches there. To pull them out, it's not gonna work. We're gonna need half a cup of water, pour it in the can, and then we're gonna bounce it on the rim of the glass. Took me like a couple minutes, but we finally set it up like that. We're gonna get a couple mentos, and then we're gonna glue them to the stain. Then you're gonna put this mentos like this, just close it. So I'm just gonna come up and open a soda for him. And guess what happens? You see, and we got the coin inside of the bottle. And then put the glass on top of it. 
and then what you're gonna do is rub it against your hair with some fur uh, get some static electricity and move it slowly so if I'm gonna try to blow check it out what will happen it's gonna come out tell me how, why tell me why it comes out smack it down as hard as you can as quick as you can one two three go Rub in alcohol and half a cup of water and then we're gonna stick a dollar in there we're gonna take it out and light it on fire check it out and dollar just smoking and it's perfectly fine make sure it's a small piece of paper so it fill in the paper and put the egg on top what the heck was that? Oh, that was cool! Water, film canister and a tablet of alka -Zelsa. We're gonna put two tablets, fill it up all the way, drop these two tablets, close it real quick and turn it over. Let's try this again. Boom! First we're gonna put some water. The water distributing the heat so the balloon doesn't pop because of that. The water might be like a little warmer now, but check it out, it just doesn't pop. Alright, we're gonna warm it up a little bit again and squeeze it. Put the other paper clip on top of it and just carefully put it on top of water. And it will float. So, we're gonna grab scissors, cut the tea bag up like that and take the tea out. Unfold them like tubes, like this, so you'll be able to set them up like this. And then light it up from the top. And it should fly out. But the tall one goes up. I'm gonna hold it, let go, it just falls off. But when I spin it, it stays up. Grab a stack of papers, roll it up, like so you have like a hole like that. And look to it, place it to next to your right eye, and then put your hand like almost to the end of the tube and just look to it. And what you're gonna see is it looks like uh, you have a hole in your hand. In between like that, in the middle, and just stamp it on the, on your finger like that. Let's check it out. And you got half one right here, and the other half right here. And for this experiment, we're gonna need hot water and cold water. So, and then you're gonna need an empty bottle, and I put the balloon in there. So, first of all, I'm gonna put bottle in the water, you know, soak it in, even like that, sideways, spin it around. Make sure it's all cold and nice. And then I'm gonna put it in a hot water and we'll see what happens. Check it out. Bigger piece of aluminum foil and roll them up. This at home, maybe adults shouldn't do it either. You hold it to the top, this one, and the other side of the wire. Make sure this one in the middle and it's not spinning. Just touch it with your other wire and check out what happens. You hear how fast it is? This is a new battery so that spins really, really fast. Cut it out and just cut it like on this angle right here. See? Like maybe half an inch Turn it over and on the same spot cut it to the middle. So how can we open it? All you're gonna need is a piece of paper. Maybe fold it this way. I'm gonna grab it down like that and open it. Pretty cool, huh? With a piece of paper. Alright, we're gonna take out the hot potato, just boiled into the icy cold water. We're gonna keep it for like 10 seconds. Okay, after 10 seconds, you just pull it 
firmly on two sides right here. And it's still really hot and you got peeled potato. Like small hole, big hole. And then you just like, you know, put this small hole closer to your mouth and just blow as hard as you can. Freaking crazy, huh? Just squeeze it. Not too, too hard, just heat it up on one side, you know? Slowly, not too close to the fire, kind of make it, maybe do a circle. Check this out, guys. So you challenge somebody that you have to take the circle out with one hand, with one move, so the battery will fall in inside. You can only touch the plastic circle, you cannot touch the butter so most people will try to hit it this way and they will fail this is simple you have to put your finger inside and hit it like that on the side you know so let's check it out That's just simple like this look inside and boom and the butter fell in polymer empty glass of water and room temperature water a little bit Fill it up all the way to the top. Oil, I got olive oil, you can do any kind of oil, food coloring and water. And a tablet of alka -Zelsa. First we're gonna put the food coloring, put water in there and it will mix up. And drop the tablet, Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna push it to right here. You see, it doesn't leak at all. Let's try another one right here. Check it out. Two holes, and amazingly, and amazingly, it doesn't leak out. I'm gonna grab a spoon of this magic sand and pour it in a glass. Let's see what happens. Do you see that? That sand, you see it's dry. Look at this. If you ask somebody to pick up all the matches with one match. They're gonna be trying, most likely fail, but then if they give up, you can show them. You grab and push on these two matches, third match drops down, goes in between of two matches, an under match, and you pick up all of the matches. Poor milk, drops of food coloring, then we're gonna grab our dish soap, and then we're just gonna stick it in there. Look at this craziness. And then pour white vinegar in there. And we're gonna leave it soak in for like a couple hours or so. But check out what will happen whenever we soak it in. Very easy bouncy egg or you can call it naked egg experiment. Alright, first we're gonna pour water in the plate. You want the pepper that will float and don't put too much. So you soap one finger, you see it's kinda soapy. So if we stick a finger, See, it's pushing out without soapy finger. Nothing much happens, you see? As soon as you're touching, it slides up. Without any kind of energy, you see? Just a light bulb. We're gonna break the matchbox right here. And we're gonna need this piece right here. Right, after we're done burning this, we're gonna move this piece of paper. And you see this black residue, whatever it's called. You're gonna pick it up with your finger, like that. And you can pick it up with the other finger. Alright, and then rub it in together. And you're gonna see the smoke. You see the lot of smoke coming out? This is called Hamapola uh, motor. If you do it nicely, it will spin even faster. Go! 
let it burn for a second and throw it in the bottle like that and you see there is some smoke in there and just drop that smoke in there then we are gonna smash the bottle as hard as we can no smoke a lot of smoke no smoke a lot quick like this motion boom I check it out on the other tip see what happens check it out just on the tip of a toothpick step it up step it up oh. okay okay now keep walking walk on the other one just oh no yeah now keep going keep going oh <laughs> Alright, check it out now. This didn't break. This only two broke. This only two broke, two broke. How is it possible? <laughs> well, that didn't work at all. General, <laughs> on our pipe, plastic pipe, the closer you get, the more it bends. Side on the other side. Same thing you see. So on the same level we're gonna make a bunch of holes. You have to be on the same level. Yeah, check it out. Once you open it starts spilling. You see? And once you open, like the oxygen to come in and on top of the bottle, it will stop spill out. So if you press it, it spill out too. Check it out. Pretty funny. So you chance somebody to move the cork to the middle of the glass in the water without touching the cork. Seems impossible, right? But all you gotta do is fill up your glass all the way. Like almost over fill. Look. And you see? The glass will by itself move in the middle.